Capricorn, welcome to your June monthly reading. This is a collective reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon, and rising sign video on my channel as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese, where I sell online personal readings all over the world through. Now, let's get into your energy for June, Capricorn. So, we've got the Seven of Cups, so you have a lot of options, Capricorn. A lot of options at the moment. The universe is presenting you a lot of options, but the thing is, some of these options are dodgy. Some of these options are snakes. So be very, very careful. Some of them are very good and some of them are very bad. Some will be a disaster. So you're looking at these options and you're weighing up and make sure you're making a good decision. And the decision that you're going for is anything that's going to help you either build your family or benefit your family. You want the full nine yards. You want to buy a house. You want to get married. If you're not already, you want to have everything. You want to supply for your family and you want to have everything. Very strong Capricorn energy. So what you're looking at is with these options, what option is going to align best with my future? Make sure you do pick the right option. You don't just pick any option because the right option will give you this happiness. And I do think that you do end up making a decision that is going to bring a lot of happiness and make your dreams feel like they're coming true through the start of June. Through the middle of June, you have the energy of the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is very much you're accepting things. You're not being the victim in anything. You're t you're, you've got a new perspective. You've got a powerful energy, Capricorn. You've got a new perspective. You've got a lot of... You're feeling free from something. You may have been feeling a bit trapped within your head, but you're not feeling like that anymore. You also may be feeling like there was an energy that was smothering you around, or you may have been smothering someone. But this, like, dependent smothering energy is, like, it's a nosy energy. You're feeling free from it. So if you maybe had anxiety, that could be you releasing the anxiety. Or you may be dealing with someone who's starting to come over their fears of being really smothering and overbearing of you. Or you may have just cut them out of your life completely. This does seem like a feminine energy, but it does not have to be. Through the end of June, you are showing up very, very, very abundant. Money is coming for you. There is a masculine energy that it is bringing you money. You could be in this energy getting this money. This is a strong energy of having all the money you want, but there is a rebellious way of receiving this money. So you are sort of not taking the most ethical path towards it, if that makes sense. You're using a new approach towards money and you're doing whatever you can to get it. To be honest, you're going to get it. So whatever way you are doing it, good on you. You're going very hard, Capricorn. The hidden energy for you, though, is that well, you need to have strength when you don't have money. Because every time you self-doubt money, you manifest against yourself. And sometimes the reason there is a fleeting... So you're going to get money, but it's not going to be a very stable one. So it's going to be like in and out. There's, it's going to be like a lot of money, at a lot of peaks of a lot of money, but like also there'll be downs of it. So this is this is a reminder that this, the hidden energy is that it's not that stable for you. Um, and there is, a, there is a lack of stability and there's a lack of resources. So you need to have strength to use... You may be making money quickly one way, but you need to think of a long-term plan. And this is what the universe is saying. Don't think that just because this thing is lucrative that it's your long-term plan because it is not. And it will shock you and it will come out of nowhere because this is hidden from you. The advice for you, Capricorn, is it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Get the fuck outside and move your ass. Your if your body your body is pissed at you. So the universe wants you to exercise. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero, Capricorn. 
and stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up, you are missing out on some cool shit. Okay, and what somebody is thinking about Capricorn through the month of June, somebody who's energetically connected to you, this could be a lover or an ex-lover, a friend or a family member, but what they are thinking about you is, I regret lying to you. Ooh. We will be together again. I hid who I really am from you. You and I were too young. And I wish I had treated you better. I read that one more time, Capricorn. What somebody is thinking about you through the month of June is, I regret lying to you. We will be together again. I hid who I really am from you. You and I were too young. I wish I had treated you better. And then on the end here, Capricorn, we have your romance energy and what's coming through for your romance and love life energy is, and this is if you're in a relationship or a situationship or if you're single, this is what's coming. We've got true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Ooh. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Capricorn. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, Capricorn, please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. If you did want to book a personal reading, make sure you check the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese. Sending you guys so much love and light. I'll see you next month.